to show you how to write anionic equations. Anionic equations are chemical equations for reactions which list only the species participating in the reactions. But first, to do an anionic equation, you have to know your solubility rules. First solubility rule is that all strong acids are electrolytes. Strong acids consist of HNO3, HCl, HBr, HI, H2SO4, and HClO4. Solubility rule number two is bases. All strong bases are electrolytes. Strong bases consist of hydroxides of group 1 and 2. BA and CA and SR are marginal, and BE and MG are weak. Rule 3 is a salt table. NO3, group 1, C2H3O2, ClO4, and ClO3 break down every compound, no exceptions. Cl, Br, and I break down with every name, except for Pb, Ag, and Hg2. And SO4 breaks down with everything except for Pb, Ag, Hg2, Ca, Sr, and Ba. Solubility rule number four. H2CO3 will break down into H2O and CO2. NH4OH will break down into H2O and NH3. H2SO3 will break down into H2O and SO2. Remember that the ones below will never break down because they're not electrolytes. S solids, pure liquids, and gases. Let's say you have two HCl plus MnS yields H2S plus MnCl2. HCl breaks down because it is a strong acid, breaks down into two hydronium ions and two chlorine ions. MNS does not break down. H2S does not break down. And MNCl2 does break down because chlorine breaks down with anything besides Pb, Ag, and Hg plus H, 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 G, 2 plus 2. Now, we cancel the like terms and bring down all the ones that were not canceled. This is your answer. I'm going to show you an example of single displacement. Let's say your problem is Zn plus CuSO4 yields ZnSO4 plus Cu. CuSO4 will break down into Cu plus 2 plus SO4 minus 2. And ZnSO4 will break down into Zn plus 2 plus SO4 minus 2. The elements Zn and Cu are left alone. Now cancel the elements or compounds that are the same on both sides. Finally, rewrite the equation with the elements and compounds that have not been cancelled. And this is your answer.